سبيل الله قاتل نعم جزاكم الله خير يا شيخ ما حكم من سب الصحابه سب الصحابه سب الصحابه كفر لا شك في ذلك سب الصحابه كفر لكن اختلف ان سبهم قال انهم كفره او قال هم منافقون هذا يخرج من المله لا. لانه مكذب لله ولرسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم اما من قال يعني بعض الصحابه عنده اخطاء او وقع الصحابي فلان في خطا او كذا الشد لا يصل الى حد الكفر والرمي بالنفاق واللعن والشتم لا وصل الى التكفير ورميهم بالنفاق واللعن والشتم كما يفعل الروافض هذا كفر زندقه لا شك هذا يخرج من المله اما لو قال الصحابي فلان اخطا او بعض الكلمات التي يتهوه بها بعض الناس من غير قصد هذا لا لا يكفر فيها يفسق وعليه التوبه نعم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد قال الشيخنا الشيخ سعيد بن هليل حفظ الله تعالى he was asked what is the ruling regarding someone cursing the Sahaba رضي الله تعالى عنهم مجمعين the Sheikh responded by saying cursing the Sahaba is disbelief no doubt about that. Cursing Sahaba is kufr. However, there is a difference between those who say they apostated or call them hypocrites. This one has left the religion because he has denied what Allah and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam have said. As for the one who says some of the Sahaba have mistakes or a Sahabi fell into error and the criticism has not reached the level of kufr or accusations of hypocrisy or disbelief or cursing, or takfir, like the Raf of the Shia do, then this is disbelief and heresy, and he has apostated from the religion, meaning the one who, who says these things. But his mistake does not reach that level. As for the saying the Sahaba made a mistake, or saying something that some of the people distort from its intended meaning, this one has not committed kufr, but rather sin, and should be and should make repentance. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.